Kids love chicken fingers, but here's a recipe for chicken fingers that even adults will enjoy and feel good about serving. So there are very few ingredients in these chicken fingers. The first thing, of course, you need is chicken. So I've got some chicken breasts here. I'm gonna cut it into the shape that I want. You can cut them into fingers, or you can cut them into nuggets, or you can just buy some chicken tenders at the store. So slice it with a nice sharp knife into strips and set them aside. Okay, once you've cut the chicken, of course, it's important to clean up your station so that you're not gonna have any cross-contamination. I'm gonna go wash my hands. I'm using a baking board that has what we call a fat-away mat on it. This elevates the chicken from the bottom of the board so that more air can circulate around it and we'll get crispier chicken fingers. If you have a cookie sheet at home with a cooling rack, you could put the chicken right on the cooling rack and get the same effect. I have one dish that has some flour in it. I have one dish with some eggs in it. I'm gonna beat them up lightly. And I have one dish that has a mixture of toasted breadcrumbs or panko breadcrumbs and some Parmesan cheese. Now mix this up together. The breadcrumbs are in there to give it the crunch that we want. The cheese is there to give us some flavor, but also to help our chicken fingers brown in the oven. Now I'm gonna season the flour in this dredging station because it's the flour that's gonna be next to the chicken and it's the chicken that I want to be seasoned. So just mix that up together with your hands. And then we're going to put all of our chicken through this dredging process. Now, many people think you start with the egg when you're dredging. That's not actually the case. Chicken has a very slippery surface. An egg's not going to stick to it. So the way to do this is to take the chicken and put it into the flour first, and then drop that into the egg mixture, and then into the breading. Now what you'll notice is I'm using one hand to touch the chicken here when it's raw. And once that chicken goes into the egg, I'm not gonna put my hands in there at all because then you end up with breadcrumb fingers. So grab a pair of tongs, dip the egg and coat the chicken completely. The flour is gonna let the egg adhere to the chicken. The egg is gonna let the breadcrumbs adhere to the chicken. Place that breaded chicken breast right on your tray. This is why we got everything ready before we started so you're not running around looking for that tray at the last minute. So you're gonna do this with all of the chicken fingers that you've prepared. And then you're gonna pop it into a 375 degree oven for about 20, 25 minutes. If I turn them halfway through the cooking time, that gets the other side nice and brown. Look how delicious they look. When they're nicely toasted and brown, you know they're finished. All you have to do now is put together some dips, maybe some barbecue sauce, some ketchup, some honey mustard, and that's a whole happy family. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more of the basics, click over here. If you'd like to see everything I used today, click over here. And if you have any comments or suggestions for more basics, put them in the comment section right below.